they just lost thousands of dollars in equity. We're likely gonna bubble. Is it up in the Grand or Main Bay? You know, where you try and optimize your output. And in the Grand, it's a call against David Yen. Goes check, check, River's a king. And I think we got paid there. I mean, my story didn't make a lot of sense in that I'm not gonna have queen jack. And I don't have ace king. So it's kind of like, what the heck am I talking about here? Uh, David goes for the bluff catch with king seven. This is a wide bluff catch, but it, also my story doesn't make sense. We have a straight flush in the grand. Bit half pot, we want to leave room for the ace of diamonds to raise. If we go too big, it's just going to call. So we want to try and get all the money from the ace of diamonds, probably. Um, king, king, eight. Interesting as to whether we see better check. Need to check the turn, I think. Let's check, check. Rivers and eights. Aces and kings with an eight kicker is pretty bad. We probably lose here, right? Most likely. Uh, when we bet the flop and Johannes calls, they're going to have better aces and they're going to have pairs. Uh, we beat pairs, actually. So we beat jacks and tens and nines here, which continue past the flop. Ooh, it is actually kind of a difficult spot for that reason. Especially when they bet 45, it's like, is a king checking on the turn? This is a tough spot. I expect king, queen, and king, jack, and king, 10 to bet the turn, especially because, like, we have an ace. So on this ace river. Wow. I think I probably have to call because I don't think it's very reasonable for them to have a king. So I think it's such a nice value betting spot on the turn when they have a king against our range, right? And the sizing is tough to do with a, with an ace. They could have an eight, but it's kind of hard. I think we need to call for that reason. Yeah. That's a very weird spot, right? Like, this is a pretty intense, weird hand, but it's just like the sizing really eliminates king. So we need them to bet the size with, like, ace-queen, with ace-jack, with ace-ten, which is kind of unlikely. It's hard to have an eight... Like 8-9 suited, but that's a really bad hand against a 3-bet. 8-7 uh, suited. We block. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Interesting hand. We're on 2.1 million. Ooh. We really can't fold much of our range here. Need to. We need to continue with 9-10, actually. We're going to fold, like, you know, blind versus blind, we're going to fold, like, queen 4, for example, right? We have 3 to a straight. That's good. They barrel on the turn quite small. I think we call again, getting four to one. We don't have 20% to hit our hand, but we're gonna be able to bluff sometimes of the river. Um, and again, ranges are very wide here, right? This is blind versus blind. Uh, so yeah, I'll fold the river though. I'm still definitely gonna play this year, of course. And I still like golf, I wanna be a part of my life, but the live poker project that started up with Playground Poker and sort of is being determined now, in, in terms of what it's going to look like into the future as we win a big pot here. King, queen, let's raise. 120,000, I think is good. Ready to play a pot. Even against a three bet, we get to play the sand, right? So it's pretty strong. And jack three, three. I think we want to check call here mostly. Seven of the turn, not great. I think the hands that are close to continue here, and the, the hands that are interesting are 10-9, 10-8, 9-8, ace-x uh, without a heart or spade, probably, right? I think like king-queen and king-10 and queen-10 are now just folds, especially when they choose this really quite large sizing. The ace-queen, we go heads up against Elliot Smith, king-queen-deuce. Check with ace queen. I mean, we could bet or check ace queen. I think we definitely want to check every other queen, though. 
I think bet turn check river is probably the line here. We have a kind of an awkward here in the grand, right? So limped pot. Checks around on the flop. Turn, we're going to bet. Three ways to the river. Uh, do we have the best hand? I don't know. Probably, but like I don't think we can value bet. And we win. Ace five suited. The hand that gets to play pretty aggressively in the spot. We go 300,000 against Mateos. But I don't think we have a five betting range. In theory, if we're ever going to five bet bluff against a four bet, it's going to be with ace five suited. Um, but I think in reality, we're going to play against a four bet for 100% flat, I think. The interesting thing is like, what do we do with ace king offsuit is like the prime candidate that just wants to go all in pre, you know, but. Mateos calls, king seven three. Check, check. Check, check. And I think we're gonna go half pot river here if it checks to us. And if he bets, we fold. We win. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Queens. One of the best hands. One of the best hands. Three bit to 420, so we could have a three bet folding range to Rodrigo. Of course, we're not going to with Queens. We'd get it in against all three of them if necessary, but. Uh... That's the, the reason for the less than all incising. Not what we're going to do with like ace queen, obviously, right? And they have less than a pot size bet left. I think we bet 100K or so. We don't fold at this stage. We're not like, there's better flops though, for sure. What do we do on the turn? I think we're all in now. I don't know, man. It's just like, yeah, when they have a king, whatever, we're going to lose. They have aces. Okay, we're going to lose against that hand. Pre, it's fine. Um, it basically just comes down to, like, is it worth checking? What's their bluffing frequency going to be? And how much equity do we give ace X, right? Like, we give ace seven suited that peeled it. I mean, I don't think that hand would peel, but, like, we give that hand a free three outs by by betting like one tenth pot or by um, checking. So I don't know. I think it, I think it's fine to jam there. Queens at aces. Nothing really to say about that hand and move on. This is a pretty big pot. So we've got 1.2 million in the side, 2 million total in this pot. What do we want to do? I think we want to bet less than all in here. Steven, of course, can have aces and could have flopped a set. But with our kings with two million in the middle, I don't think we're going anywhere. The question is, what sizing do we choose where we can have bluffs and value bets? And now on the river, do we want to check call or do we want to bet? I think bet. Get value from queens and jacks. And and lose to aces, of course. You know, lose to aces, lose to a flop set of tens. We could be behind Joshua, but they shoved with six blinds, right? So. Jack-10, King-Jack, hero call down from Stephen V. We are on 5.4 million. We are in second place on the grand. Let's go. And we are on the bubble here, 14 left. 
So three off the money. And it folds through the chip leader, which is good. We're not going to bust this hand. But we just want to get some value from our hand in this spot, you know. Like, we just want to play big pot. Elliot Smith calls. We go to a flop of jack 6-4 with two clubs. Pretty nice flop. I think we start with a small bet of 150,000. Are there better hands? The only better hands are fours and sixes here, right? Like, jacks. I think it's so hard to slow play jacks in this spot. Um, it's technically possible, but like basically fours and sixes, jack four, jack six, not in the range. So we feel pretty good. Uh, six on the turn, six is unlikely, six seven suited, six five suited, a six suited. And not all those hands play for flats preflop. So I think we have a, another bet here. And we get check raised uh, rare, right? Like definitely not something we expected for the reasons we described. Six seven, six five, and a six are in the range. Um, but not many combos, right? We're talking about six combos here. I think it's a call, and then it's a decide on the river, depending on what people do. Our, the hand we're most worried about here is going to be fours. Uh, fours, <laughs> mostly just fours. Six, seven suited, there's two combos. Six, five suited, there's two combos, and they don't always flat them pre-flop. Fours, there's three combos, so that's seven combos. And A6, there's two remaining combos. That's nine combos, right? Nine combos of hands. Can they have aces? Sure. And there's six combos of aces. They're not always going to flat them, though. Get them three combos. That's 12 combos of hands. What potential bluffs can they have? Clubs. And we don't have the ace of clubs. They bet less than all in as well. Dude, it's just so hard to find good hands here. I just don't know what... It's so hard to have a six in the spot. There's too few hands. I think we have to call. I don't think it makes sense. We have to call. Yeah, okay. It's one of those 11 combos, and when they have those 11 combos, they're going to have them, and we're going to just lose a bunch of chips, right? But 11 combos when there's 1,400 combos plus in no limit hold'em, it's very, very difficult to have those 11. It's, it's a very, you know, if they decide to bluff ace-jack, even, even just ace-jack offsuit, that's 12 combos, right? If they just decide, okay, ace-jacks are bluff in. Not ace-jack, that's a bad example because it's top pair. Ace eight, right? Let's say let's say they had ace eight offsuit, which they don't here, by the way, and they just had to bluff that in, or king queen offsuit, for example. There's twelve combos, and so on the river we're getting two to one. So obviously, I mean, we just lost thousands of dollars in equity, but I just don't think we can really do anything. And that turn is just so sick. It's just like so sick. Um, so on the river we need to call three and a half million to win seven point four million. So we're getting two to one odds, right? We need 33% of the time this to be a worse hand uh, than aces. A third of the time we need it to be a worse hand than aces. Uh, I don't know. I don't, like, I don't know what to tell you. We count 11 combos of value. 11 combos. I'm obviously pretty sad about it. We are now 12th, so we're likely going to bubble. The tournament. Um, uh, yeah. Poker's painful sometimes. Uh, eights. It's going to be all in here. We're still three off the money. We're on 11 blinds. I don't think it's a raise call or a raise fold. It's just to get it in. Um, good luck. <laughs> good luck. I am obviously pretty sad at the moment. Top set, uh, we just played a pot against these three with flopping a full house. This time it's going to be a check on the flop and then like a bet turn, I think is probably the standard here. And then we check and Alan bets. And we probably check raise to like give ourselves chances of queen 10 suited or diamond draws. Like is the best chance to get value from Alan. We could also call, but when they bet 400,000, then there'll be 800K back with 1.5 million in the middle. So like half, just just over half pot left. So I don't think calling makes any sense. I think we should just go all in here. And have to fade the flush draw probably. 13 left, ace jack, ace queen. We're down to 12 now. Okay, so now we're on the actual pure bubble. We may have to risk it for the biscuit here. It's a short, 
it's a small field, right? So like doubling up here to 4 million puts us in fifth place. It like puts us in, an, in a possibility to actually win the tournament, basically. And so I expect my opponents to play really aggressively against us here on the bubble. And we're going to have a significant edge with Ace-9. Like, we just are. Um, it's pretty simple if Henning Andre opens less than all in. I think it's a jam. If they jam, I think it's a reluctant call, basically. But I think we got to do it, so. Bubble risk chat. Thousands of dollars on the line. Uh, but it's going to put us in fifth if we win. And we've got a big edge, so good luck. Come on, let's go. Huge pot coming our way. 4.2 million, baby. Let's go. Oh, it's stressful having to call off there, man. It's stressful. Whoo. Let's go. We're back in the tournament, man. We're totally back. We're sixth place. After the King's disaster. Okay. All right. Some breathing room. Hello everyone, I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker. A brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below, try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. The shortest stack is Michael S. Followed by Atenas. As we have aces. This is huge. My first impression is to limp here. right? I think limp is a good idea. I think Allen is going to attack this aggressively. Right? Uh, <laughs> okay. Alright, so Allen has nothing. And... Uh, we have the goods, so let's induce some bluffs, and if not, let's get one street of value. That's 240, we're going to call. Bluff the river, Allen. Okay. No bluff. Don't be an eight, because then it's annoying. Five, seven. We got the max, chat, we got the max. All right, here we go. That seems like a decent hand, actually, from Allen, based on how quick they snapped that in there. And the tank is on on this table as well, so. King, queen, ace, 10. If ace, 10 holds, it's over. And we're in the money. We are. We are in the money chat, $2,202. Locked up. First place is 15500 so... 13,300 bucks left to play for. Let's make it ours today. Why not? Let's make it ours today. I believe in us. Fold. We raise. Um, don't want to jam, right? Just want to raise, induce a three bet here. We're 25 blinds deep. It's actually a pretty good spot for our opponents to put pressure on us. I mean, little do they know we have ace king. But like, they can definitely put pressure on us with a lot of hands. So let's see how it goes. We call. This is it, chat. 11 left for a huge amount of chips. We got to hold. Come on, let's go. Huge pot coming away. We're back over 7 million, chat. Let's go. Queen 10 of the big blind. I think call is the answer. I don't think we want to three-bit this hand. Checking the flop, although it's close to a flop we can lead on. Yeah, so it goes 11 million and then seven, 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 six and a half. And then four and a half, three and a half, three, two and a half, one and a half, one. So, yeah. We're going to lead on this turn. This is a very thin bet for us with queen 10, but it's such a good board for our range that I think we do want to bet with our top pair. Now, we are going to get paid off by some worse hands here by betting, right? Like spade draws are going to call. Uh, jack and a pair is going to call. Uh, strong nines are going to call. Like, I think it's a spot where definitely worse hands are going to call. And we get an ace on the end. Check. I think check fold is fine. You know, uh, we beat very little. Um, the only thing that sucks is if they have jack nine or jack eight and turn it into a bluff, you know, or queen nine. 
queen eight and turn it into a bluff. Like those are hands that would kind of own us here, but um, yeah, I think fold is okay. Bah! We don't really want to see an open from Tommy. Ugh. Because jamming against middle position is not great, right? Like if Tommy is here, then it's a slam dunk rip city dot gov. But a middle position into three reshove stacks, we might be a bit light. Problem being, when we jam, what are they going to do with ace-10? They're going to fold. They're going to fold ace-10, right? What are they going to do with ace-queen and ace-king? They're going to call. So we're kind of in the middle with this ace-check suited. I think we need to call here. Um, it was just the one person we didn't want to open. Everyone else, hanging on, Andre, we're in the same spot, actually. But everyone else is, like, clear, I think. There's check, check, five on the turn, check. We, we have a lot of hands that can bet here as a bluff and as a value bet on the turn. Queen X, you know, like King Queen and Queen Jack and Queen 10 can bet. Jack 10 can bet. King Jack can bet, right? Uh, King 10 can bet. Club draws can bet. Like there's a bunch of stuff they could bet. Ace Jack does not need to. So yeah. Let's check, check. We check the river. And fold. Queens, love it. Mid raise. Love it. Put in the action, someone. Henning Andre calls, okay. Allen, good spot for squeeze, Allen. Says no. He sees three on the flop. I bet, small. 375, I think is fine. As a proportion of our range, we're going to have probably more aces than them. Here we go. This is our double up hand chat, ace 10. A great hand. Now, the only way we fold this is if it goes raise three bet, right? If someone three bets Alejandro, then we need to stay out of the way, I think. But other than that, this is gonna be our double up hand. This is it, baby. This is it, chat. Good luck us. We're gonna go all in. There's an option to call here too. But no, I think it's just an all in, especially with all the pseudo broadways and stuff. We wanna push our action here pre on eight and a half blinds. That's why we want to flat against this hand, but the problem is like, oh, oh, the 10 in the turn. The 10 in the turn, we're up to 5.5 million, let's go. Any source of income and I had like losing years. That's where you would sometimes get, the CRA would like, you know, think about taking you to court and stuff like that about it. But I think my case is, my case is really clear cut, it's like, you know, open ace four of clubs, eight, three deuce on the flop, all clubs. Check. I like it. Really hard to get three streets of value for more hands here. And also one of the bigger stacks, it's just going to want to put pressure on us here when our hand is looking like ace high, basically. The check of the turn, we should bet here. With the steel wheel, the straight flush, ace to five. Tough hand to make. Pretty rare. You know what would be good, Tommy, if you had a full house? Yeah. I think this is good. Half pot. Half pot is good. Trying to get a call from the king of clubs, queen of clubs, jack of clubs, all that. So I think it's a good size. And I think that was a fold, right? Oh, no, calls with the king high flush. Oh, dude. So painful. I mean, it's so unlikely we both flop flushes. It's the sickest thing. But the fact that we both flop flushes when they have the ace high flush and they decide to check back. <laughs> it's so nasty. Like, oh, man. Oh, man. I just bet the flop, I get all the money. But I do think check back is a pretty good strategy often there for what it's worth. It's like, it's really hard for two people to flop flushes. You get to call a raise. Do we want to jam against this open though? Um, Probably do actually against Henning Andre especially because King Jack. 
the thing about King Jack Blind vs. Blind is we're not folding out like Ace Jack, right? It's calling. Uh, are we folding out King Queen? Uh, probably not. But they just have so much garbage. But we're also in position. Three of us are pretty close together. This opening range is going to be wide and pretty polar as well. Really close on whether I want to jam this or call. I think I'm going to go for the jam. I'm close. I don't know. I'm close on it. I'm not sure. But we take it down, which is good. 8.6. Ace King suited. It's a three bet, less than all in again. We've set up this image of aggression. And now we get to pay it off. We get to make it 2.6. And induce the four bet from Tommy. Good luck. Uh, it's kings. What are you going to do? It's a cooler heads up. We need a diamond. Oh, no. All right, 4878 chat. What, what are you going to do? Ace king deck kings, four-handed. I think a well-played tournament, honestly. I'm pretty pumped with that. I am pretty pumped with that, man. I will definitely take it. 4878 in the grand. GG. Profitable Sunday.